guys, how's it going? Playing mine 14 here. And we just got the regular two memory cards. And we're going to play on Diego's memory card right now. Mainly because I need to test things out for real. For realsies? For, for realsies. Oh boy. Oh, I feel like today is going to be a bit of a challenge. I woke up uh, about an hour earlier than I usually do, and uh, well, my nose is kind of just bothering me, and it's been bothering me a lot lately, and uh, yeah, oh yeah, the folks, yeah, the is bad. <laughs> no, but on a serious note, look, look, she, she's evil. We need to lock her up. We need to go to. We need to go. We need to go over there to China and take down the wall. Okay, okay, folks. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding, by the way. But uh, my nose really is getting really sniffly. You know, it's like Trump said the first debate. <sighs> so, uh, hang on a get guys. I'm gonna set you down for just a second, and then I will uh, yeah continue. Okay, let's see. I've got the list of the roses right here. Yeah, the list of the roses. Okay, let's do a quick pan by. There we go. Um, by the way, I'm recording this on my new uh, camcorder, which I recently got off Amazon, and it was only like two hundred and fifty bucks. Not bad. Not bad. Flood. Not bad. Now where is Dragon Ball Z Budokai, the original? DBZ Budokai. Let's see here. Okay, is this it? It's gotta be right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I found the case. Okay. So here's Dragon Ball Z Budokai in three. Dragon Ball Z. Previously, Gohan had a battle in order to save the life of Piccolo. And Will Joshua C. Jones figure out how to use his camcorder? Find out today on Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. Just kidding. Today we're playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Do this of the Roses. And welcome back to Chicago. And <laughs> uh, what if I was really in Chicago right now? That'd be, that'd be a pretty funny joke. But, uh, no, I'm not. I'm in, uh, I'm just home, and, uh, yeah. We're just gonna do the thing. Let's see. Let's get, I may have to switch, yeah, that's the TV. I may need to go to, okay, we should be in the right spot now. Let's test the volume on 60, and then slowly back it off. Because I have a feeling the audio quality here will be a lot better than, uh, yeah. Hmm. And I'm only going to record one duel and then try to transfer it to my computer and, you know, just check the sound quality, check the uh, the panning quality that I did with the videos, you know, the slow motion kind of Dark Magician! Dark Magic Attack! Of the Roses. Yes. Kujaku Mai. And. By the way, who's that white guy in the intro? You, got, you guys notice that? Like, there's a white guy on Yugi's side that looks like. Well, let me just say this. I've never seen him play a children's card game before. Da -da -da. So, who is that? Who is this mysterious man? Will Fun 14 ever stop recording videos? And will Goku be able to power up to the next level of Super Saiyan Omega? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z Omega and Alpha. Coming soon, only Tsunami. Triple Bastos name Kogeki 
this is Let's Play a Yu-Gi-Oh! Other, a duelist of the roses. And... Alrighty, so let's just hit continue. And we are going to do the next person. Ooh, by the way, this video does contain spoilers. So I will put that in the description and the comments. Because this video does contain spoilers. And the main spoiler here is you see the opponent right there. And um, in honor of my challenge my my uh in honor of my channel flood and mod 14 here we're actually going to duel my favorite opponent in this game you guys ready let's do it spoiler warning <laughs> hello there lad lover if you're looking for a boat to take you to the continent climb aboard i am not a freaky fish guy and i will harpoon everyone in this arena until someone says I'm not. Look, Michael. You look, you're a friend. Calm down. See, that's your problem. You have to... I have news for you, Joseph Wheeler. The ocean and I, we are divorced. And see, that's your problem. If you don't communicate, you'll never succeed in your... Whoa, whoa, listen to me, Joseph Wheeler. I would much sooner take relationship advice from a kraken than you. I am not a freaky fish guy. On oh, listen to that theme, dude. All right, Lad Lover. If you want to reach the continent, you'll have to face me in a duel. But not just a duel, a Shadow Children's Card Game duel. And I love this theme. Listen to that, the fanfare. Oh my gosh, dude, the fanfare. The the oh, it's just so epic, man. You know what? You know what? You know what, guys? I doubt that there's an extended cut for this on YouTube. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this music, this glorious, awesome music, I'm going to let it play until, like, the 10-minute mark. So, you know, if, if you hate the unprofessionalism of this channel, just feel free to click out of the video right now. But once this video hits 10 minutes, we'll do, we will dual Mako Tsunami. And, uh, yeah, for now, I'm going to set you guys down. Enjoy the awesome fanfare, guys. Heck yeah. Yeah, man, that is some good fanfare, bro. Okay, so if I mount it here... Sorry, working on my videography a little bit. Yeah, I think if I mount it here, I'll be okay, too. Yeah, let's see. So right about here... I am not a freaky fish guy, and I shall harpoon everyone until you all say otherwise. Oh, Mako. Now listen here, Mako. You're right. You're not a freaky fish guy. You are the freaky fish guy. <laughs> what do you mean, Joseph?
love that trumpet in this man. Oh, okay guys, we're back. Ten minutes and number forty. Alright, lad lover. You'll have to face me in a duel. But not just any duel, a Shadow Children's card game duel. And I will harpoon everyone. And dude, look at his headband. You know, Mako Tsunami, if I have to give him props to one thing, dude, that headband. That headband is so iconic, bro. Like, yeah, like, look at that name. Look at that name. Phalanx with the PH. Me, my name is Mako, card mercenary of Bretagne. Or how would you say that in French? Ooh, that sounded that sounded French, Josh. My name is Mako, card mercenary of Bretagne. Let's stool that lover. At sea, you're in my element, and I will harpoon everyone until you all shut up and subscribe. Be sure to subscribe to Flooded Rod 14 now. <laughs> I've been waiting for you to cross my path. When you're in the sea and surrounded by the sea, you are in my element. Why, right, defeat me, and I'll deliver you to the shores of a lo a Bolon Balon. Wait, how would you say that? Oh, to the shores of Bulochde. <laughs> AKA Baloney. I've got nothing against you, but I've been paid well to ensure a bountiful fish harvest. And to make sure you never reach the continent, lad lubber. And I intend to keep my end of the, of the bargain. Now take this harpoon. The ocean and I, we are getting marriage counseling. Ha 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 ha. And there it is, guys. With that, we finally unlock the new location. And that is the Strait of Dover. There's actually a little bit of history about the Strait of Dover that's actually pretty important. So, in the uh, Hundred Years' War, which is the next kind of major war between England and France, uh, this Strait of Dover, which is right here, uh, as you know, England is about right here because Stonehenge and and you have like Windsor and London and Canto Canterbury. These are all English city sites. Uh, but this, the Strait of Dover, this area from about um, well, really from about here, yeah, to here, it's called a Strait. And then here, this is all part of the Strait. This is all part of the Strait. Yeah, until about right here, uh, stone hits straight down. That's considered the Strait of Dover. It might go over a little further to right here. Uh, it's been a while since I took geography, but actually I think it does. I think it does extend all the way to right here. Uh, but anyway, uh, the, anyway, 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 this particular part of the Strait of Dover right here, this little kind of, if I had to like cut it into pieces, I'd go here from... London straight down, right, and then to the east, and then to about, oh, what city is right here? Uh, ooh, I can almost think of its name, but it just slips my tongue. Uh, it's not Paris, it's, uh, man, what is it? Well, anyway, till about right, you know, about right here where the dragon is, uh, but just a little further over. It's really more like right, oh, yeah, there's like a small island right here, what is it? Well, anyway, from here to about this small island here, yeah, this little section, like, it played a big role in the actual Hundred Years' War between England and France. And, uh, basically the main reason it played a big role was location, right? <laughs> if you know anything about history, you know wars are about many things. A lot of times it's about cultural values and stuff like that. That's how they get started, but once you get deep into a war, it's mainly about location. Location, 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 and location can make or break your strategy in a war. So, just so you guys know. Alrighty, it looks like we're using a dragon themed deck, which, that makes sense. We got this card recently. Monsters destroyed in battles by one who hunts souls cannot be revived. If they're sent to the graveyard, that's a good card. Might want to add that to the deck. Um, but uh, Mako's deck cost is only, uh, it's only... Uh, a thousand and like three, I think. So we can we can tinker with the deck a bit. So let's go to the B deck. Let's go to the phones. Let's go to Hannah from Atlanta. Hannah, are you with me? Talk to me. <laughs> Alrighty. 
and we'll get rid of Queen of Autumn Leaves because we have some more uh, plants to fuse now, so let's put in Living Vaz. Vaz, yes. And this is a beast type, right? No, it's Beast Warrior. I think this will still fuse with Arlonway to make a uh, Neko Gal, I think. Don't quote me on that, guys. Don't quote me on that. Uh, we got Tenderness. Two Hoshinigan. Oh, we got three. Hmm, I don't know. Three Hoshinigan? That's, that's a little... I don't know. Well, I guess I could always get rid of Lunar Queen Elzy Ham. Yeah, it's, it's just a basic monster. So let's get rid of that and put in the Soul Hunter. Uh, and then, let's see. Two Wall Evolution. That's good. That's very good. That's very good. Uh, I like to use this for fusion with the plant to make rose. So that's good. Uh, Chibiki Maira. Yeah. Chibiki Maira. Uh, that's good. I'm trying to think of, can I put in Mesmeric Control here? Um, I think all the spots are taken up, actually. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So Mesmeric Control, you can go in the C deck. Yeah. You can go in the C. The C. A C. A C. And speaking of C decks. Uh, yeah, this deck looks very familiar, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm sure it does. Uh, this deck looks pretty similar to the deck I have in um, the other save file uh, on our current Let's Play. Uh, and that's because it should. What I did is basically I did the trade and memory card ch cheat where I sent basically all my cards over here and then just uh, reset and yeah, basically I did the memory card cheat. <laughs> and uh, what's good about this side, this deck here though, is that I have a few more dragons. And any of these dragons can fuse with any of these fish, like White Dolphin, to fu to form um, another Kyrushin. And speaking of that, let's go to Type Sword. See if I have one more fish. Uh, I have a Blue Eyes I'm not using. Okay, we need to check on that. Definitely. Uh, let's see. So, fish. Where are fish? You know, this game's a little fishy. Uh, I only had like three egg dogs. <laughs> Dude, I just sounded like ooh man eater bug. Dude, you are going in a deck. I don't care which deck. Um, how about we get rid of? Uh, uh let's get rid of amoeba. Because Amoeba's good, but it's going to be useless in this next duel. So yeah, let's get rid of Amoeba for that. Uh, let's see if there's any other fish. Oh yes, we saw Azume. Perfect. Okay, so let's go to the phones. Let's go to... Uh, shall I take out one Akihira? Nah, that's good. Let's take out Mandating Black Shark, actually. And put in Mizarazume. And let's see if I can take out anything else. Uh, this Dancing Elf, does this really fuse with anything? I don't think so. So let's take that out. Put in Shock and Shock Bait! Ooh ha ha! Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. That's right. We got another Psychic Kappa. I actually really love Psychic Kappa because no matter what, it's risk free summoning because you take no damage. So, <laughs> yeah, the more the merrier on Psychic Kappa, am I right? Uh, let's see. And by the way, this isn't part of the ranking challenge. Guys, this is really just a test recording, and I'm just using the camcorder and that I just bought. And, you know, we're just testing things out for real, you know? Just, just you know, just to experiment with different, uh, Kuno Evolution. Why are these in here? Do I even have a moth card? I do not. That is, uh, that is weird. I guess these are placeholders for, uh, deck cost lowering, so that's interesting. Uh, let's put in Psychic Kappa, and we can put in Blue Eyes White Dragon now, I think, so let's go to New, and let's go all the way up, and uh, let's go to Name, look at that name, look at that name, and should be in the Bs, yes, the Blue Eyes White Dragon, the Blue Eyes White Dragon, and there we go, 900, you know what, I think that'll, you know what, no, let's put in Block Attack. And let's put in, uh, let's see if we see any other negate attack. I mean, that's, that's something, right? That's better than nothing. Uh, Resurrection of Chakra. Don't even qualify for this. Uh, yeah, let's, let's put in negate attack instead. And then, uh, House of Adhesive Tape. Uh, kind of useless, but, ooh, Mesmeric Control. Okay, that's what I want. That's what, that's, that's what I'm looking for right there. 
is what I'm talking about. Power of Kaishin. Definitely good. Definitely good. Uh, let's take out... Let's take out a monster card. Because we're kind of low on... You know what? Starboy is 300. Uh, let's just take out... No, no, no. I'm thinking about Starboy. Let's take out Mechanical Snail. Because it'll be really useless on this map. And let's put in Kaishin. And let's take out... Eye of Truth will be nice. Let's put in the Force card, actually. Uh, keep in mind, guys, that the opponent's going to basically have all the advantage here. So, even though the Force card doesn't actively help our deck, <clears throat> excuse me, if we get into a tight spot, you know, it's not going to hurt our deck either. Uh, and by putting in the Force field, we basically have a, you know, a way to slow him down if he starts chasing us. You know what I mean? Um... Yet, yeah, always good to have a plan B, just in case, just in case things go sour, so. We will save, and yeah, so we go, went from Dover to the Strait of Dover, and yeah, he has a thousand one deck cost, so let's duel make it. As I told you, lead lover, the sea is my element. You haven't got a chance. In the ocean. In America. <laughs> in the ocean. I feel like that could be his catchphrase. Card games on motorcycles. Card games in the ocean, land lover. Take my harpoon of justice. Guys, I'm so sorry, but I really love this theme, and it's been so long since we've heard a theme besides the regular one for Weevil. Oh man, <sighs> been too long. But it's finally nice. It's nice to finally hear the theme from the Red Rose side, guys. I really love it. I really do. Anyway, back to the episode. Time for a commercial. This game is brought to you by Dragon Ball Z Budokai. Buy it today at your local used game store. And brought to you by Floodmon14. Like, comment, subscribe. And will Floodmon14 ever finish this duel? Find out today on Yu-Gi-Oh! In T. Doom, 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 doom. Doom, 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 to get night tour, night tour, and T O. Step into the anti, 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 step into the nightmare, not no triple door. Oh, oh. Step into the grand tour, grand tour, grand tour. Yu Gi Oh, T. Step into the grand tour. A whole new adventure begins. A new challenge for flooding this room. Because he's a duelist strong. Pilaf makes him a child again. The Dragon Balls are burning, burning again. Worldwide and losing the battle against good and evil. Who's going to win when the man eater bug defeats him? He's going to be the last line of defense. Your wish has been granted. Oh, oh. Step into the nightmare, 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 true badoom! Aw, oh, you! Yeah. Now come my blue eyes! Soar into the sky now! 